Okay, inside the case itself, we get a uh, look at the, your tool list design uh, for your PCI cards, AGP card, as well as for your drives on the bottom, as well as your optical and your uh, three and a half inch on the top. You can get a better look at the uh, intake fan. Here's this, the front 140 millimeter. It's going to pull air in towards your video cards, towards your motherboard, cool your solutions there. There's also an additional 80 millimeter fan uh, in front of the hard drive bays to blow air towards them. This uh, drive by uh, hard drive bays can be converted to uh, put a five and a half inch drive into them. So if you need an additional space, you can certainly put it in there. Uh, to use their tool list setup, you just simply turn the lock to unlock it, and the uh, pins pop right out. So you slide your drive in, pop these back into the hole, and then just turn the knob again, and now it's locked into place. So very nice setup for uh, a tool list design. Uh, some of them I've seen are pretty flimsy looking, and they don't really hold the drives very tight, but that is actually really nice and tight in there. And uh, let's have a look at where your video cards would go. This is what I was saying earlier about the uh, length between the uh, panels here for your full-size video cards. Basically, your card can come all the way across right up to this front fan. So it gives you tons of space to uh, add any of the full-size newer cards that are out there, whether they're X2 cards or what have you. Here is your uh, front connectors. This is the USB 3 connector that I had mentioned before that you would put up through the uh, back panel and plug into the back of your motherboard. And then your front panel USB connectors and your uh, hard drive LEDs and uh, power switch, reset switch, that sort of thing. This one here I believe is the power for the uh, in-win insignia on the front to light that up. So, uh, lots of room in here for a micro ATX case. If you can see the different uh, holes that they've marked here, they give you a nice big cutout here for a uh, backing plate for your uh, motherboard, depending on whether you're going air-cooled or water-cooled. Uh, plenty of room back there to uh, get at the back of your motherboard and mount what you might need to. Also additional spots on the sides here for uh, running cables as well as a slot down in the bottom here right by your uh, hard drive cages where that ventilated spot was that's opened up as well and I don't think I'm gonna get a good shot at it but there is some also uh, additional ones up here for running your uh, four wire or eight wire power to the motherboard itself so plenty of uh, places to run your cables from we're going to uh, spin it around on the other side, and I'll show you the uh, space there is for cable management. Oh, sorry, one more thing I wanted to mention here before we get to turning the case around is the uh, ventilated inlet for your uh, power supply. Uh, generally, you'll have your power supplies flipped upside down uh, to put it in this style, these styles of cases, but it's nice that they actually have a bottom vent with a uh, dust filter on it for cool intake for your power supply and then it exits right out the rear so it's not going to put any additional heat inside the case and that's something that you don't see as often as it should be almost all cases should have some sort of ventilation for the power supply that's uh, a very nice feature that they add with this case okay now with the uh, backside cover removed you can really see more of the uh, cable management holes that I had mentioned before especially these top ones here as well as the big cutout for your uh, backing plate. Some front holes here, as well as some smaller front holes for running, you know, like your data cables or power cables up to your optical drives there. So that's a nice add-on, as well as some of the lower slots here for maybe some of your front header stuff. A uh, lot of room here between the backing plate itself for the motherboard, uh, the motherboard tray, I should say, and the uh, back plate. I'm not sure, yeah, I don't imagine the camera is probably going to pick that up very well. But it looks to be about uh, 5 eighths of an inch or so between the uh, motherboard tray and where the side panel is going to attach. 
depth as you can see you, you can put your hand right back in there so that's going to give you plenty of room for running your cables uh, running anything around the back that you need to for this case so it it's, uh, offers a ton of features for a mid tower ATX case I'm very surprised uh, you know it's kind of a market that most people have chose to make cheap cases uh, they figure a smaller case like this maybe isn't going to attract gamers. Uh, maybe people aren't going to really look to add a lot of accessories into a case. And I have to say InWin has really went out of their way with uh, innovations and stuff on this case that uh, you wouldn't normally see except for maybe your full tower gaming cases. The included fans that come with it, the way the airflow design is uh, done, the toolless design on it. The uh, cable management holes, ventilated front grills, um, boy the list goes on and on as far as uh, the accessories and stuff that come with this case. Uh, the options that it gives you for different types of builds depending on how many hard drives you want to use, uh, solid state drive, optical drives, uh, that addition of the full size video cards so that you're not restricted to using a lesser video card to uh, play your games with. You can go out and buy the uh, biggest, baddest one you can find and it's going to fit in this case. So that's going to do it for this product showcase video. Uh, we want to thank InWin very much for uh, providing this item for our showcase. Once again this is their InWin Dragon Slayer case. It's a M ATX case and I want to thank you for watching.